Here's an example of a double unit conversion. We are asked to convert 0 0.054 centigrams into nanograms. We start by expressing the given value in scientific notation. Moving the decimal two places to the right will give us 5.4. So this is 5.4 times 10 to the negative 2 centigrams. In this example, both of the units have a prefix. Conversions like this we do in two steps. Both centigrams and nanograms have grams in common. We call grams the base unit. In the first step, we convert centigrams to grams. And in the second step, we convert grams into nanograms. We can do both conversions in one equation. We start by writing down 5.4 times 10 to the negative 2 centigrams. The first step is to convert centigrams into grams. We write it times and a line. We want to get rid of centigrams, so we write that on the bottom of our conversion factor. And we want to convert it to grams, so we write grams on top. We write a 1 by the unit with the prefix, which is the centigrams. Centi means 10 to the negative 2. So we write 10 to the negative 2 by the grams. 1 centigram is equal to 10 to the negative 2 grams. In step 2, we want to convert grams into nanograms. So again, we write a times and a line. We want to get rid of grams, so we put it on the bottom of the conversion factor. And we want nanograms, so we write it on the top. We write a 1 by the nanograms since it has the prefix. The prefix nano means 10 to the negative 9th. So we write 10 to the negative 9th by the grams. 1 nanogram is equal to 10 to the negative 9th grams. We can cancel out the centigrams and the grams. This will leave us with the unit nanograms, which is the one we want. We have 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the negative 2 on the top. We add the exponents to get 10 to the negative 4. And on the bottom, we have 10 to the negative 9. So we're left with 5.4 times 10 to the negative fourth over 10 to the negative ninth. When dividing, remember, subtract the exponents. Negative 4 minus negative 9 is the same as negative 4 plus 9, which comes out to positive 5. So our final answer is 5.4 times 10 to the fifth nanograms.